Good morning everyone. Uh, it is Monday. Shiny, bright, sunny, cool, but no snow. It's 32, which is balmy by our recent, not quite as balmy as our early spring fling as they're calling on these, but look at this beauty I have on my desk. So I'm going to do a separate video on this. It's a spectacular one button, one finger stapler. So I will be making some graph notebooks for some of my crafty friends who are graph paper lovers. But that's um, later. First I have to go see the girls. Um, start my coffee maker to make some coffee since I have the new K-cups uh, from that we picked up at Costco yesterday. Oh, and before I forget, um, I appreciate the comment that Sue left on yesterday's vlog this morning uh, regarding its length. So I'm going to pose a question. What is a comfortable length of a of vlog for you guys to watch? I'm not promising that I'm going to stick to that time or find a happy medium, but there are days where things, there's a lot more things that I share and there's days where I literally have not had a chance to pick up my camera all day because of my work schedule or other things that go on in, in life. And I do something quick just so I don't um, not post anything. So please, I would welcome the constructive feedback on what is your happy medium for a daily vlog. And I don't expect that everybody who subscribes to my channel watches every single one of my vlogs. Um, I try to name them at least giving you a hint of what they're going to be about. You are always welcome to click off or fast forward. That's also an option. Um, if you scroll your um, cursor at the bottom of the screen where there's a red uh, line of the length of the video, it gives you tiny little pop-ups of the images. So if you catch something that you're interested in, you could stop there and watch it from there. Um, so yeah, please, I welcome the feedback. Please let me know what is a comfortable length of vlog for you guys. And I know that there will be varying answers. So, and I, you know, welcome the participation and the feedback. And I don't begrudge anybody for telling me that they're too long or too short. I just want to know. I want to gauge kind of what is a comfortable length of time. I know that um, I've had three-minute vlogs and I've had... 30 minute vlogs. It all depends on what's going on for the day. So um, before I ramble on too long, I'm going to go see the girls and um, bring them some treats and then give myself a treat and have breakfast. Today's Meatless Monday, so I will be showing you the lentils that I'm going to pop in the um, um, slow cooker in the crock pot. Uh, probably in about a couple of hours. I don't need it to cook all day, but you know, six, six to eight hours is plenty of time. So I'll be right back. I'm going to give you a closer look at that sea salt that I picked up yesterday, the Sel de Mer. And this is a product of Canada. And let me see if the website is. Um, the salt comes from Israel. and it's packaged in Canada. So there's the granules. But the reason that I really, really like these containers is because they have three different dispensing holes on the lid, and you just have to punch out the um, initial spot, which just breaks off, so this one on the inside. But once I'm done with this container for uh, the um, sea salt, I'm going to retain it to use when I make um, polenta or grits because it's an easy steady pour, particularly from the smaller holes. And that's what I'm going to save this one for. And the paper peels off quite easily. So I'm going to, I did already refill my salt and pepper grinder, so that's all full. Uh, like I said, this is going to last me quite some time, but there's the website in case anyone's... It's um, Alta Spice, A-L-T-A-S-P-I-C-E, 
T-I-U-S-S-P-I-C-E. It's a product of Canada from Montreal, not far from us, well, eight hours away from us. So I thought I'd share that. Really valuable to retain these. So I'm saddened to hear that uh, Harold Remus has passed away. For those of you who are young or don't recognize the face, um, Ghostbusters. He wrote um, lots of comedies that you are familiar with. Stripes, uh, Groundhog's Day. Unfortunately, he succumbed to the condition he's been dealing with the last several years. And he was a young 69. So there's a produce for today, some cucumbers, uh, green, uh, red pepper, red bell pepper, a spicy pepper, parsley, dill, mushrooms, bananas, scallions, broccoli, cara cara oranges, and a sweet onion, and some potatoes. So um, Polly doesn't want lentils. He wants potato pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'll be making potato pancakes with onions. And maybe a big salad. Sorry. Uh, no potato pancakes. And um, Polly's axle broke on his car, so he had to get that repaired. And then I took a leisurely bath, and my sister called. One of the kids is sick, so I may have to go over there tomorrow. So, yep, that's the end of the day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.